Before I start this video, I would like to say when I mentioned Gohan being a protagonist in this this thing, I forgot to forgot to mention that I failed to mention that Gohan is not seen fighting in the tournament at all. Of course, some of you might say that he's already eliminated. No, no, they didn't put such a hype on the guy if if that were the case back all right let's start this video and i failed to mention before I start uh, the video that gohan is obviously has a secret a, a spoiler that he doesn't want to come out i mean the, you get it the, the animators don't want Gohan's surprise to come out. Hello everybody, my name is Crazy Nice and welcome back to a clip show. <laughs> well, <coughs> pardon me. Right now we are analyzing a Dragon Ball Z opening. Right now, I have no idea how to do this video, so please forgive me. I'm. I just want to see, tell people what I believe this this opening tells us. So. Okay. Well, the first thing that I take notice of is that 17 is there. Which is cool. <laughs> Alright. I'm just trying to see... Ah, oh, yes! The first thing that I need to pay attention to is the Zeno and... And the Grand Priest. The Grand Priest it has always been someone that I believe put words into Zen Zeno's mouth. He's basically their but butler at this point. The Zeno twins. <laughs> I'll call them the Zeno twins. And I believe he's the villain. Well... That's what I be should believe. <laughs> I am currently watching the opening right now, live. You won't see what I'm seeing. Oh, right, right. The second thing I think that happened. First, the first, in ah, come on, mouse, don't go out of me. All right. The first we see is Goku making a straight punch. The second we see Vegeta in in the the way that the gravity control training room. And then we see Gohan. To me, I think they are slated to be the protagonist of this this arc. That's what I'm thinking. These three are going to save the world, so to speak. It's what I believe. I still don't know how to do this video. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh Oh yes now we see it There's some YouTubers I've noticed say that this is a new transformation that his hair goes completely his aura goes completely red and then suddenly he 
comes out a normal person stronger his norm with his normal hair stronger than ever. That kinda defeats the idea of Super Saiyan transformation. I don't like it. I don't like the idea. So you might have to forgive me a little bit and say that the normal hair Goku coming out of that aura transformation is a bad idea. I think it's a glorified tease. That's that much I'm pretty sure. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little analysis video. And I will see you again next time. Bye.